So now as you know a little about how to work on terminal and how to change direct directories and how we can put commands on terminal and uh, what results they are going to show us. I am going to tell you how we can install new tools and new softwares into Kali Linux and how we can update the sources and how, can, how, how we can actually upgrade the pre-installed tools and softwares. So let's get into Kali and we are going to see it now. So uh, the command to install a new software is apt get install and after that we are going to write the name of name of a, a name of a software we actually want to install for example I want you to install this program and its name is terminator it is actually a terminal it's a, it's a terminal just like this terminal we are using but it has a little, little little advantage I am going to tell you what it is but before installing that I want you to run another command which is apt get update so apt get update is a, is a command which is going to update the libraries and it is actually update it is going to update the source list source list is, is, is a is a file actually which contains the links to the libraries and uh, it is going to fetch the softwares and tools from there actually so you don't need to get into all those all those details just put in this command and I want you to run it so uh, once you uh, enter this and it is going to take a while and it is going to update all the source list and it, it will be just like a new uh, version of Kali actually so <clears throat> this is going to take some time so I'm going to control C it and it is going to turn off the command for me so now I can put in app get install terminator and press enter <coughs> now it is asking me do I want to continue I am going to press Y and I am going to press enter and it is now downloading uh, the, the software actually so if we want to install a new software we are going to run this command same like this just going to change the name of the software after that so now we can see that terminator has installed for us and uh, we are going to look into that in a minute but i want to tell you about another command that is apt get apt get upgrade so what it is going to do is it is going to upgrade any a pre-installed software for example if we have an old terminal it is going to update it to a new terminal or to a new version of terminal actually so it is going to update all the softwares that are installed on the Kali machine uh, and uh, if you do it it is going to take some while for you so just wait for it to let, uh, let it do its work and it will complete in some time uh, and if you get some errors, uh, I would recommend you to make a snapshot before you run this command. So if uh, any problem comes up, so you can go back to the old state of the machine. Uh, and if it's working fine, you can just make another screenshot so you can know that it's an upgraded system and it's working fine for you. So uh, now let us uh, let us look into Terminator. I am going to show you. you can, we can go here and we can type in terminator and here it is I am going to actually add it to my favorites so I can easily access it so uh, here it is here is terminator and let it load for us and we are going to see how it, look, it looks like so you can see that it is it looks like uh, the the terminal we were using before but there is only one difference in it so the difference in in this terminator is that we can actually split the screen once you right click it you can see that there is a split horizontally option available so we can uh, click here and we see that there are two terminals available here so we can say ls here and we can do a cd documents here and we can see and if we click here we can 
separated vertically too. So this is a terminal uh, which will be very useful in the future because we can uh, do multiple tasks at, at the similar time and we can uh, we don't have to open many windows uh, so we can uh, we don't have to switch in those windows. So uh, and another thing I wanted to tell you how we can change the password for our current root account. So uh, the command is very simple we just type in P A W S W D that is password and we press enter and it, it asks us for a new unix password so you can type in any password you want it is actually not going to show up for you because it is a security feature and feature in kali so it don't show uh, how many digits we are typing uh, it just types in the background if we click enter and we can see that the password has been updated successfully and once you uh, log in again so uh, you will have to enter the new password uh, you you just uh, update it here so this will be all for the uh, for this uh, video and i want to update your system and uh, upgrade if you want to